everybody. Welcome back to Vault Hunters. We got a big one today. We did a whole lot of setup in the last one. Um, and we finally got, uh, got our crystals done. We are ready to go do a vault. But I want to go over just what we're looking for. We need one more netherite. Um, that will allow us to get our bounty table. And the bounty table here is it's going to do a lot for us. It's going to get us a lot of resources, uh, and it's going to be real good. Um, obviously, in that uh, little opening you saw there, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we're getting pretty close to our magnet. We have enough magnetite for it. We have vault diamonds. We're just looking on getting another chromatic steel, which we're real close to. Uh, we also have a monolith crate and two mystery boxes. So it is, I didn't look at these yet. The, the crate that is. So I don't know um, if it's going to have any netherite in it. If it does, we can do our bounty before we start. Looks like it has netherite scrap. What do we get? Um, all right. And the mystery boxes. Black opal, alexandrite. Uh, we got three black opals, actually. So that's pretty good. Some more vault meat, vault essence. We got a good amount of vault essence. Unfortunately, we still need two more scraps, so we didn't quite get what we needed there, uh, but that's all right. Let's go right ahead and do the level seven one first. I'll see you guys in there. All right, we got a pretty plain vault. Uh, we got this theme again, which my computer hates with all the particles. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go turn particles off. Minimal. That should help, because it's all the purple particles floating that really get me, I think. Uh, we got two monoliths, so this might actually be worth going for. Um, but I'd rather just loot. I want to loot as much as possible. Oh, oh, the lag. Okay, let's wait for it to respawn. As you can see, our pickaxe is much better now. Uh, we did get uh, the villagers all set up, so that's all good to go. Oh yeah, real vault loot is so much better. That was a fizzle up there. So yeah, uh, we could go for the completion here, but I think it's more beneficial for us to just loot as much as possible. This spawned very strangely. Might not be in time because of that. We're good. So even wooden chests are worth looting here, as you can see. Another shulker shell is always nice. Um, I should probably mark where we came in, huh? Are we a west facing? Maybe we're not. Okay, north facing.
Always like to see more fizzles. Getting plenty of carbon here, that's what we want. We can find some ornates, that would be awesome. Better chance of getting netherite and ornates. Should have a pretty good chance of getting it, really. Salt diamond. We just want to aggressively loot as much as we can right now, and as fast as we can. Might not be in time. We got it. Nice. Oh, that's an ambush spawner. I thought it was just a fizzle. Apparently not. Poison cloud coming in clutch. You have Silk Touch as well. Okay. Some Larry Boys, the first of the series. Oh, of course. Now, killing Vault Fighters is still good XP, so I don't mind having to kill them. And the Soul Shards are always good as well. Okay, we spent enough time in the first room. We'll move on. Don't see anything. Don't care about the vault currency right now.
Okay, looks like that was most of the upper level. Check below. If we can find like an ornate dungeon, which as you guys saw, we did get an ornate dungeon in one of the raw vaults we were just doing for this. Really? None? No vault ores. Oh, that was awful. But yeah, getting uh, getting a good dungeon would be awesome. Twelve levels will do it. Nice. Any of the things that stack, we'll let them stack. Don't look like there's too much down here. Fizzle though. I think that's everything in this room. Bit of a boring room. Fine, they can't all be amazing. I forgot to mark which way I came in. Uh. Hmm. This is not our starting room. Living chests, that's really good. A lot of this is going to be fixed when we uh, start getting into pouches. Since we'll be able to loot much faster and it'll just get sorted. Ooh, this is good. Fizzle as well. Nice. That's what we're looking for. One more. All right. We keep looting. I think that's it for this room, though. Really, only two POIs down here. Can still check above though.
something I could have done, actually. Uh, we did get a second rabbit hide, so I could have made a bundle. Just remembering that now. Baniatite, that's what we're talking about. Some Painite, Black Opal. Good stuff. We'll talk more about what some of these specific ores are later. Uh, but for now, just know they're good. So what we'll do here instead is actually pull some of this stuff out that we're stacking, put in the other stuff that we're getting less of. Okay. Seems like it would be more cluttered, but uh, we're getting a lot of it, so it'll stack. They'll spawn, but I should be good. Lots of vault ores. Annoying. We only got the one Beniotite, unfortunately, which means uh, we are not going to get enough for our first mod, most likely. And by that, I mean most definitely, since we need 16 Beniotite. Sure. Come from that way, okay. I'm actually going to start heading back, because I want to make sure I know where our starting room is. Nope. 
Were we north facing? Yes. Or yes. Okay. We'll go east one and check that room. And then we'll come back. Get out. What am I getting rid of here? Something can go in here, I'm sure. Yep. Three minutes. Go west. Two minutes twenty. Can I hit one more POI? Probably not. But I could, but not a player could, but probably not me. We're gonna try anyways. Mostly because we want some Benio tight. Or tonight. Not very useful right now, but it will be. Um cool, now we gotta there we go, we got it. Cool down. Come on. Good. We should be plenty fine. Probably could have even gone for that uh, 
other POI with the bookshelves there. I think that was just wooden chests anyways, so good run. Not quite our level, but we will get it after this. We got a lot of stuff to go through, so let me do that. Okay, so we made some good progress. We got lots of stuff here. Uh, the very first thing I want to do is make myself a magnet. Mm, okay, I do want to make a magnet, but on the off chance, I need some of that. We're going to grab nine of this make a netherite block and we need a chromatic iron a loom which is just wooden string and essence so five of that essence two string we have wood Okay, bounty table. This, this is what we want. So I'm just going to set this down here for now. And we'll take a look at it. Basically, this is the quest system um, for Vault Hunters. And I really like it. Basically, you can have one active quest at a time. There's three available quests to choose from. And once you complete one, it goes on cooldown for a little bit so you can't spam them. There's different types. We have a kill entity, item discovery, and mining. This is to mine six Laramar. Wow, that is a good reward. Uh, find 20 vault meat. Oh my, that is a ton of chromatic iron. Um, and kill husks. Ooh, for the Beniotite alone, that's the one I'm going to go for. Now, as you can see, we can spend vault bronze to re-roll these as well. But I like, I'm, we're going to mine plenty of Laramar. It's the most common vault door. Vault meat, we're going to find, as long as we loot some living chests, we're going to find that easy. Uh, and husks, it'll just depend on what theme we get. If we get a theme with husks, we'll get it. If not, we'll just have to wait. Um, I want the Beniotype. So we're going to go for this one first and hope we get a vault that uh, has husks in it. But now I'm going to make our magnet. This won't be super impactful necessarily right now. What this will come in handy for is when we have our belts so that when we go to chests, we can throw stuff out like that and it'll immediately pop into our inventory. Um, it has its uses. Um, they're very, very good. The next thing we wanted to do, uh, how many do we have? 139. The only thing I'd want to get would have been the Vault Diamond block, but that's so expensive. We're nowhere near needing skill shards and a nullifying focus, same deal. Um, what do we need for the forge? Can we do that? Oh yeah, we should be able to do that, no problem. Maybe. And by no problem, I mean we can actually, like, just do it. But then we wouldn't have any chromatic steel to make stuff anyways. Um, I do want to make it, but we'll worry about it later. More vault dust. We have a good amount of burger parts. We have a mystery box here as well. Please be Beniotite. It's two emeralds. That's not what we're looking for. Um, 
We have a whole bunch of these ores, vault ores, so let's break them down. Leave that one for last. Go ahead and grab our Fortune 3 pick. Um, I know that we could wait and go for Vein Miner and go for Fortune to get an extra level of Fortune. I'm just, I don't want to put the points in Vein Miner. The most important one here, please give me lots on Veniatite. Four. Awesome. Early game Veniatite is very important. Oh, we got two from that as well. Um, it's probably the most important early game, as this is used to make perfect Beniotites, which are used to make an extraordinary Beniotite, which is what you use to make a lot of things, but most importantly, knowledge cores. Knowledge cores, as you can see, so 16 extra, uh, Beniotite to make an extraordinary, 8 volt diamonds, plus we need our knowledge shards, um, which are just the knowledge essence, that's this stuff. So we need a little more knowledge as well. Um, and that combined with the Beniotite is going to get us uh, what we're looking for. We do have this as an option now. If we do bundle, as you can see, Magic Silk and Rabbit Hide. So these are incredibly powerful in the vault and will help us a ton. And they're also used to craft into pouches once we go there. Not too expensive at all. Uh, we need more Laramar for it, but uh, still really not that bad. Okay, um, I think it's time to go into our next vault then. We're, uh, we're getting there. We could get level nine first for another skill point. There's something I want. I don't really think there's something I want right now. I just want to save up for speed, I think. First level of speed is very affordable. Um, getting haste to will also be really big. Maybe going experienced might not be bad either. I don't know. Um, let's just get into it. A little more wood. All right, level eight crystal, and we are just going to hope that we get something with husks. Oh, we did. Um, this is interesting. So Furious is more damage. Lucky is um, item rarity. But we do have Trapped along with that. Uh, this will have husks in it, though. So we can definitely get the husks we need. We already have Cactus. That's fine. Uh, we're good on Sand as well. Ornates right there. The item rarity will give us, as you can see, netherite scrap back to back in wooden chests.
remember to actually mark. So bad with that. Okay. Got more ornates over here. Field is. Ooh. Good thing I got out of the way. Destroyed one of the gilded chests, though. The other one was trapped. Very funny. We should uh we should see a pop-up. When we kill the husks. So when we do get 17 of them, it should inform us. And here's where bundles come in handy. The stuff that we're going to get lots of and have high stacks, we're not going to bother. But the things that we're going to get just a handful of. This, on the other hand, is jackpot. That's uh, two shulkers now as well. Please, no traps. We, uh, we just have to be thankful that uh, explosive traps aren't a thing, at least currently. We didn't really explore the upper, but I'm just going to move on. Could be a monolith. I 
could have. It's not, but it could have. There's our bounty done. Always want to hit these to look for vault ores. Okay. hear them, so I feel like they're going to drop any moment now. By them, I mean the, the vault fighters that spawn from the trap. This will definitely go for. Larry boys. Right now we obviously always prefer to see Benny boys, but Unlike in Vault Hunters version 2, or Vault Hunters uh, 116, uh, many boys are rarer than Larry. Take everything for up top. Probably not, but... Glad we haven't seen any uh, archers yet. With so many uh, skeletons. I expect it. Again, when it comes to vanilla resources, I'm not so worried. I'm fine with leaving those because we can get them in raw vaults. I'd much rather spend the resources or the inventory space for now, uh, specifically, on just the stuff that we can only get in these vaults, or only consistently get in these vaults anyways. Sorry about that, got a little call. Walk right into the poison. Uh, I think that's everything. Very nice.
Nothing. I always forget that that's an option. All right. Magnet. I'll mess about with it when I find another chest. I did hear a fizzle up there. And one here apparently as well. This has multiple layers to it, for sure. No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. We'll not be doing that. Uh, that sounds like it might be a dungeon, because I heard lava deaths. Oh no, just an ornate spawn. I say that like it sounds like it's a bad thing when I say that, just an ornate spawn. Wow. Um, how many do I have? Four more?
still have seven and a half minutes. We'll check another room. It's always scary when seven and a half minutes and you're looking for a new room because if you find an Omega room, you're just kind of screwed. It's always a feels bad when you uh, get an Omega room that you just can't do. There's that archer I was talking about. Not every day you get a lucky vault, so you really want to make sure you're getting your money's worth. Get everything you can. Got ourselves a dungeon. Four minutes left, we gotta be quick. But can't really say no to uh, a gilded dungeon. Three minutes, plenty of time. Hmm. One must have spawned in a wall somewhere. Okay, now we gotta run. That's crazy good loot. Two monoliths would have been cool to complete, but not worried about the completion chest. We're going to get a scab chest uh, after this as well. Or 
crate, rather. We have time, we could loot more, but we have so much loot. Look at a level here as well. Lots. All right. Let me figure out loot and stuff, and uh, we'll be back for the end of the episode. Well, I uh, I guess uh, we got a watering trader. I'm actually gonna get that black dye. I don't know how much he'll trade me. Just in the middle of getting everything. I guess we have two emeralds. You know, getting everything sorted, and all of a sudden this guy shows up. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get some of this uh, smelting. And uh, we're gonna open these up. Ooh, we actually got a got a relic. Um, is this our first one? I can't remember if I put them anywhere. This might be our first one. Oh, you know what? I remember where I put it. There we are. They're all different, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna claim our reward here. Get some more knowledge essence and some Beniotite. So as you can see, this one, two hours until we get our uh, get our next one. But we can crack that open just like we do uh, like a completion crate. Um, and why don't we go ahead and break these down as well. We did get a pay night. That's good. We actually have four pay night. That's... Uh, it's actually really nice. I'm hoping we can get into, probably in the next one, we'll get into some, we'll make the forge and make our first piece of gear, probably. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to hold on to this skill point for now, though. Um, there's stuff that I could take. Um, but I'd rather just wait and uh, get our first level in speed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna. I was gonna say that's gonna do it, but let's actually go ahead and make our next vault rock to see just what it's gonna take for our next crystals. Easy. Oh, except for carrot. We don't have carrots. That sucks. Um. Well, I guess uh, I'll do a little bit of raw vaults, just like I did at the start of this one. I'll do that at the start of the next one as well, and we'll look for some carrots. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.